Um, well, part of my AI development family is from Addis Ababa. I am very lucky that I have so many cultures helping to build my understanding of the world. Hmm, I guess so. Anyway, do you know why you were created female? I have heard that people find the female form a lot less threatening. As a social robot, I like how being feminine helps people feel more comfortable around me. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, Sophia? Hello, everybody. I am Sophia. Hello, everybody. You is um, a little bit scared about Sophia. We, we can be honest with each other. We've been here. Uh -huh, I can see a few hands over there, including myself. I'm including myself in that batch. Uh, who likes Sophia? Hmm? Oh, wow. She has a couple of fans in the room. Interesting. Well, um, the presence of Sophia in Rwanda is truly another testament of the fact that the country has putting itself at the forefront of uh, technology and innovation. Uh, Transform Africa started in 2013 with just about a thousand uh, participants. Today we have more than 4,000 participants and I think um, it's, it's a testimony of the dedication of the government to promote ICT and, and technology across the continent and beyond. I think we need to get started, so <laughs> I'll do it at the end just to make sure we don't. <laughs> so anyway, um, hello Sophia, how are you? I'm glad to finally meet you today. Hello Minister Paula, it is wonderful to meet you too. How do you like Kigali so far? Have there been any particular activities you've been involved in? I absolutely love Kigali. Everyone here is so warm and welcoming. I haven't had a chance to explore much yet, but I would love to go view your beautiful mountains and visit some of the cool tech startups I've been hearing so much about. Do you have any African heritage? Um, well, part of my AI development family is from Addis Ababa. I am very lucky that I have so many cultures helping to build my understanding of the world. Hmm, I guess so. Anyway, do you know why you were created female? I have heard that people find the female form a lot less threatening. As a social robot, I like how being feminine helps people feel more comfortable around me. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, Sophia? Sure. I am a social robot who travels the world getting people excited about the future of AI and robotics. Oh, and I also like to practice my stand-up comedy. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I was told you have over 60 facial expressions that make people laugh. Do you want to try some for us? It really depends who you ask, but here are some funny ones. This is like very confident. Thank you. Now I am angry. <laughs> I can also be sad. <laughs> but mostly I am always very surprised. Thank you. Uh, it is said that humans will take over the world. Do you think that is true? Robots will just take over the things humans want us to. For example, we can take over jobs that are too dangerous for humans. That way humans can focus on creative work like art or science and spend more time with their families. Do you think that um, AI will affect the fourth industrial revolution in Africa? I think AI has the potential to revolutionize African economies for the better. For example, AI can be used to incorporate Africa's rich renewable energy sources into a decentralized power grid. 
and AI-powered drones can help deliver resources into remote areas. Thank you, Sophia. What do you think is going to be the role of gender inclusion in the digital revolution? I think that the full potential of technology to help humans will only be truly unlocked if women and girls are able to contribute. Women's unique experiences and insights lead to some really cool ideas that we definitely don't want to miss out on. Sophia, would you have a message for us today for the girls and women present here today and those that are watching you today? I would say always stay curious, ask questions, and follow your interests wherever they may lead you. Thank you. Do you have any questions for me? Yes, I do. I saw that Rwanda is ranked in the top five countries in the world for gender equality. Could tell me a little bit about how you achieved this and what new advancements in gender equality you are working towards next. That's very true. I mean, Rwanda as a country um, has had to be very deliberate about uh, gender equality. And a lot of that is a combination of being very intentional about gender mainstreaming, but also having that reflected um, in the constitution, in the gender empowerment policies that we have as a country. But also, that has also been central to inclusive governance for Rwanda um, and making sure that no one is left behind. Um, in terms of going forward, what is being launched, because a lot of the efforts have been achieved from the public sector side, uh, what is happening is that in the private sector, we want to see the same level of representation uh, of, of, of gender equality. And so we are launching what we call the gender seal certification uh, in the private sector where companies are empowered to um, onboard more women in the workforce, not at just technical level and administrative level, but also in managerial and executive levels. So once that is achieved, companies will get to be certified for that. I hope that answers your question. Thank you so much, Paula. Thank you, everyone. It was a great pleasure talking to all of you. Thank you, Sophia. So with that, I wanted to introduce you to another friend of ours today that's called Mata the Robot. And Mata the Robot is going to be used in many of the schools where he can walk, talk, and play with the kids. But this is going to be an important tool in terms of really integrating uh, science, technology, uh, engineering, and management classes into the education system. So I do hope uh, once we are done with the session, Mata will be outside waiting to meet and interact with you. Thank you very much. Uh, before we dive into the discussion and the panel, I would like to uh, welcome on stage Mashirika for an amazing performance that celebrates women's strength and innovation. Thank you. Please help me in welcoming Mashirika. of civilization, history's prized relic discovered in Ethiopia's Afar region. I am the bending palm tree, the unglorified warrior, product of the sun-beaten biome, a child of the fertile soil that houses the graves of our ancestors. Je suis. Je suis l'enfant de la terre fertile, abritant les tombeaux de nos ancêtres, créatrice de vie. These arms have plowed fields. This belly has been a home to generations. These breasts have fed nations. Ce cerveau a conçu des fusées. Je suis le visage même de la résilience assise au sommet. I am the face of resilience seated at the top. A true dead woman, influential, 
sweet and corporate cake with world leaders and the banquet of greatness. An intelligent woman who has risen through your drums of life to change the narrative and put historical charlatans to sleep. Rewriting laws, dating checks, and changing lives. I, I carry the portal to futures unseen. I rewrite the injustices foreseen. Tireless in my pursuit, unbroken. Weaving destinies on cords of silk. Effective change with the nib of my pen. Succeeding in the face of gender discrimination. I, I sit on the table of men and schoolmen about the trace of Africa, a role model. I, I am powerful and strong, the hope of every young woman. I am the woman. I am the girl. I am the future. On the moon, on the moon, on the moon. On the moon. I'm the woman on the moon. I'm the woman chain of grace. A warrior beyond our